police hunting heartless caretaker who beat elderly woman. This is caretaker Brenda Floyd, aged 65. You're about to find out why this heartless cretin's a wanted woman. On January 1st of this year, she was videotaped doing this to a frail old lady in Memorial Village, Texas. That's a 94-year-old woman, by the way, and that's not the worst Floyd does to her. The elderly woman is just catching some Z's until Floyd wakes her. The abuse starts because the lady had fed her dog people food. To make matters worse, the poor lady's all by herself and it's New Year's Day. Floyd's stream of abuse continues as she tries to make the woman pick up something off the floor. Next, Floyd gets up in her face before hitting her several times. I said, why do you feed that dog human food? Why do you keep feeding the dog human food? I didn't do it. I Shut the fuck up. Yes, you did. Stop lying to me. Bitch. Floyd goes into the hallway, and as the old lady goes out of sight, it sounds like Floyd continues to beat her. What's scary is that Floyd had reportedly worked for the family for three years, and they'd even given her a car to travel to work. The elderly woman's family had hired Floyd from Care.com, a website that connects caregivers with families. Needless to say, Floyd's account is now closed. The family fired her soon after, but she's vanished. Crime Stoppers is reportedly offering up to $5,000 for information leading to her arrest. Here's more stories on elderly abuse. Domestic dispute leaves Houston man living on lawn of million-dollar property. An elderly Texas man has been left living on the lawn of his million-dollar mansion for six months following a bitter domestic dispute. Sharafat Khan, 69, got the boot from his luxurious Taylor Lake Village home back in March when his physician wife, Shanaz, decided she'd had enough of him. After kicking him out, Mrs. Khan had the locks changed and even posted a sign warning her neighbors not to feed or help her estranged husband. Khan has been sleeping on the lawn ever since, and with winter approaching, his neighbors are starting to get worried. But before you start feeling sorry for this seemingly innocent old man, take this into consideration. The couple's son told reporters his father has refused countless offers of help. He also said that his mom has suffered decades of physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his father. And police records back this up, showing Khan was arrested back in 2008 after allegedly hitting his wife. Police have been called to the property around 30 times during the last few months, but they are powerless to remove him as the property is in both of their names. Religious beliefs and arguments over money suggest there will be no swift end to this dispute. Let's just hope someone donates a tent before the colder weather sets in. Naked man beats up granny, gets tased and arrested. In Irvine, California, this 51-year-old cone-headed man, Craig Ledbetter, was arrested for running around naked and beating up this 75-year-old grandmother of four, Sarah Hurtado. Around 2.30 in the afternoon on Wednesday, neighbors saw Ledbetter streaking down the street holding a large stick and swinging it around aggressively. He came up behind Hurtado and started viciously beating her. He pushed her to the ground and her toy poodle tried to defend her, but Ledbetter swung the poodle around by its leash until the collar came off. Ledbetter wouldn't listen to police officers' orders, so they tased him and took him into custody. Hurtado was hospitalized for her injuries, which included a broken arm, a dislocated shoulder, internal bleeding, and bites to her chest and back. Ledbetter was arrested on suspicion of aggravated assault, animal cruelty, elder abuse, and resisting a police officer. Police later found the poodle on Highway 405. Melbourne youth avoids jail after horrific one-punch attack on 68-year-old grandfather. 20-year-old Melbourne youth Bon Williams walked free from court recently over a shocking March 4th attack that left an elderly man with a broken nose, bleeding on the brain and four missing teeth. The man, a 68-year-old grandfather, had asked Williams to turn his music down as they travelled on the same bus through Dandenong, Melbourne. That simple request was all it took to set Williams off. 
Recently released footage of the attack shows Williams getting off the bus and placing some drinks on the floor before taking up an aggressive stance. Then as the grandfather disembarks, Williams confronts him before punching him in the face and sending him crashing into the concrete path. He then picks up his drinks and walks away, leaving the critically injured man lying on the ground. The victim was saved by two local schoolgirls, who stopped the bus as he began to drive away and got off to perform CPR on the man until paramedics arrived. Williams, who ran away from local TV crews when quizzed about the attack, was given a 12-month community corrections order after the court was informed of how he suffers from ADHD and a history of domestic abuse. Not so tough now, are you, mate? Neighbours throw eggs at dancing grandmas in park. Line dancing grandmas are a pretty common sight in public parks in China. Residents who live near public parks often form groups and meet to enjoy some line dancing, either early in the morning or late in the evening. However, not everyone enjoys the line dancing as much as the grandmas. A couple living near a public park in Hangzhou, China, were so frustrated with the music, which they claimed was too loud, that they attacked the grandmas and threw eggs at them. The husband threatened the group of elderly women that if they didn't cut it out, he'd come back with a cleaver and cut off their dancing legs. It wasn't the first time the couple had yelled at the dance group. They'd been known to throw trash at the grandmas during their dance sessions. Police investigating the incident said that they would also ensure that the dance group wasn't meeting too early or too late and violating any noise ordinance, in addition to investigating the threats. Old man with walker pushed off martyr train. When you see a crazy old man with a walker rambling on the subway, what do you do? Ignore him or throw him and his walker off the subway? Well, if you're this Atlanta a-hole, you apparently go with the latter. Marta police are now investigating an incident posted on YouTube that shows an old man with a walker being shoved off a Marta train. Apparently, the old man got on the train and was talking disrespectfully to those around him. While the other passengers ignored the old man, one individual began arguing with him about how he needed to stop verbally disrespecting the women that were around. Then, the middle-aged man decided to show everyone that he was the bigger idiot by throwing the old man and his walker off at the next station. Another witness said she saw the old man fall after being forced off the train. Marta said they are investigating the incident and police are now looking for the douchebag in black.